Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be making a gunshot effect in Adobe After Effects. We already have our footage loaded, so we're going to add our effects. We're going to go to our library, and then we're going to double click to import, and then we're going to scroll for our footage. We need the smoke footage. We're going to go to the S. Let's fire smoke puff dot footage. That'll be number one. You can use any number of muzzle of flashes you find on the internet, but for this one we're going to be using a pack that I got from the internet called Extension. Yes. Extension Sci-Fi. Costs about $70. I'm not sure. We can, look, we can look it up later. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> it also it comes with a, hand, with a handful of folders. We're going to pick any random one. I like heat blast, so we're gonna pick this one. Heat blast, muzzle front flash. So we're gonna drag this into the composition folder, and then we're gonna begin. You scroll through it, and then we're gonna look for the point where he starts to jerk back. Right here. Yeah, that's the text message, ignore that. And then um, drag your footage on right here. This is gonna be 4K footage, you guys, so remember that working with 4K Ultra HD footage. Look for the flash, look for the flash, you gotta look for the flash in this. That's where everything begins, right here. That's what flash is. And then there's a number of ways we could do this. It's all up to you. I'm gonna to explain to each one. You can go to the blending mode and then you can hit add. Wait, one more time. Hit add. That'll make it brighter. You can hit screen. That'll make it less brighter. But here's what I'm gonna do for this particular effect. I'm gonna go to our effects and presets. And I'm gonna use a preset that I downloaded called Unmolt. You can find it on the internet for free. Unmolt. Because that keeps it the exact way it is and leaves us room to play around with it a little bit. Because if you make it brighter, you just take away all the colors to it too. So we're gonna size it up, drag it to the, in front of the barrel, and leave it the way it is. And then here's what we're gonna do to play with the corner. gonna double up on it and then we're gonna they keep texting me I'm popular you guys <laughs> I'm so popular I get a text message every three seconds here it goes and if you read my messages you're being those add if you like that you can go to add you can go to color burn that one looks okay go to classic color burn that looks similar. Oh, I might have closed my messages up. <laughs> That's getting out of hand. Quit. Quit that. You can go to overlay. You can go to soft light. You get the gist. You can pick any one you want to. But for this one, I'm going to use um, stream. And then I'm going to change the opacity from 100% to about 28% and if you play it let me take a while boom if that's good enough for you you can stop right here if that's not good enough for you we're aiming for an exact perfect muzzle flash it starts off blue, but some people are happy, some people aren't. I think the blue looks kind of cool, so I'm going to keep it. And then we're going to go to our smoke puff stock footage and drag it in. And then we're going to go to the beginning where the smoke puff starts. And then we're going to go to unmolt and drag it. Drag it on here. And move it in front of the barrel. And 
and then we're gonna move it behind the gunshot so you can see both of them. I'm gonna start it right about here. That's for a single fire shot. Another thing we're gonna do to make this just a little more flashy is we're gonna make a solid. We're gonna search on effects and presets and search for optical flares. That's another preset we're gonna be using. You can find it on the internet. Optical flares it's by Video Copilot. So I'm gonna go to options. Look for natural flares, or you can go to any one of these. Now, if you see anything that you like, you can pick that one. But I'm gonna pick the one that I like, and I like blue digital for this one. I'm gonna press OK. Then I'm gonna go to our blending mode, and then we're gonna select Add. Then we're gonna move it to where all the, where all the flashing starts, right around here. That's where we're going to start this, and then we're going to go here, and then we're going to drag this to right here, change the brightness to about 180, and then we're going to put the file on top of this, and then we're going to play the whole thing. This is just how I make my, my motion flashes, guys. And then you go play it, boom. It flashes itself. You gotta make the clip length short so it flashes in your eyes. Boom. Boom. That's just for a single flash. But if you wanna make this a rapid fire thing, you're gonna select all your files and then you're gonna repeat this. Over and over again. That's one. Because he's shaking the gun rapidly. So we're going to make this a rapid fire thing. And what you want to do is you want to just want to select everything and then duplicate it. Over and over again. few times that should give you about a semi-automatic gunshot about a three burst three shot rapid burst and the more you add and duplicate will be however rapid fire you want but for this tutorial three gunshots should be enough that's what the final result will look like and then you want to go to composition add to render queue this will be optimal render settings this will look be the best Best, make sure the quality is on best, the resolution is on full, then press OK, then go to lossless, format will be QuickTime, press OK, choose comp name, that was just short for composition name, then we're going to create a new folder, let's call it After Effects Gunshot, I'm sorry, Advanced. Gunshot effect tutorial. Hit save, create, and then we're gonna hit final and then press render. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Today we created a gunshot effect for watching a playthrough. Seems pretty good enough. If you're happy, press subscribe. If you're unhappy, keep continue and maybe you'll find something that you like. Be sure to check out our latest video, Blaze, because this is where the stock footage is from. It's our action movie out. We created it in about a couple weeks, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye now.